I'm sorry. I don't accept your apology. Kate Goslin is now living alone and almost completely broke. I almost don't even know her. She's reportedly desperate for money and has no one left in her corner. It was not even really a choice. But let's be real, she only has herself to blame. The bizarre truth about how she single-handedly caused her own downfall is honestly crazy. At the height of her reality TV career, Kate had a full household and a very comfortable bank account. But according to what an insider recently revealed to the US son, those days are long gone. Now Kate is totally on her own and is allegedly seriously struggling financially. The source claimed that Leah, Alexis, Aiden, and Joel, the four sextuplets that were in Kate's care, have all left her North Carolina home and moved away to attend college. But even though she now has all the free time in the world, Kate's behavior has been so insane lately. Despite the fact that Kate is supposedly hurting for money and hasn't been busy with childcare for a while now, she's still allegedly refusing to get a normal job. What she's hoping will happen instead is absolutely unreal. It turns out that Kate is once again going head to head with John in court in hopes of getting $132,000 in back child support from him. She's been trying to pursue this case since September 2022, which another insider believes isn't exactly a coincidence. After the six tablets turned 18 in May 2022, Kate most likely lost access to their trust funds and bank accounts. Just three months later, John outed her for stealing thousands of dollars from their children, and how she tried to defend herself was downright ridiculous. She claimed that she had only borrowed $100,000 from Hannah and Colin's trust funds. She added that she had no other option and needed the money to survive. Even though she said she would pay the kids back, that reportedly never happened. Now Kate is doing whatever she can to bring in more cash, other than actually working for it. She's desperate for the payout from John, who originally claimed that the amount of money was inappropriately high. But the source told the US Sun that Kate's original custody plan was nothing but a money-making scheme anyway. In 2012, Kate allegedly pushed for more custody of the kids, but not because she actually wanted more parenting time with them. She supposedly wanted more filming opportunities with them in order to make more money. Not to mention, the longer she had the kids living with her, the more child support John was ordered to pay. The insider added that aside from reality TV, Kate hasn't held actual employment anywhere in close to 20 years. She was on Special Forces World's Toughest Test in the beginning of 2023, but was kicked off almost right away due to a neck injury. But what she told People Magazine about her departure from the show was extremely telling. Kate revealed that she was still super angry about having to leave the show. She had even tried to hide how seriously hurt she was because she didn't want to be sent home. She claimed that she wanted more chances to challenge herself and face her fears, but I think we all know the truth. Kate most likely just wanted more money from being on the show and was upset that her screen time was cut short. After all, she supposedly does not want to have to actually work to fund her lifestyle, even though she's capable of getting a decent paying job. Another source told In Touch Weekly that Kate does have a multi-state nursing license from the North Carolina Board of Nursing that expires in 2025, but she's reportedly had a really tough time accepting the fact that she might have to return to working as a nurse, which is truly unbelievable. That insider also claimed that Kate has been barely scraping by financially, and she has nobody around around her to support her either. They said she spends most of her time at home watching TV and has a surprisingly lonely lifestyle. Allegedly, Kate doesn't really have any close friends since her best friends were her kids. But now, the 23-year-old twins live and work in New York City and the 19-year-old sextuplets have either moved away or distanced themselves from Kate completely. The In Touch Weekly source also shared that Kate doesn't date either and one of the possible reasons for that is pretty crazy. Whenever she's noticed by people out in public, it's not totally uncommon for at least some of them to make negative comments towards her. But she supposedly isn't always recognized anymore for a crazy reason. Since Kate no longer has the cash to pay for Botox fillers in the glam squad that she allegedly used to have, she looks like a totally different person now. To tell you the truth, it sounds like Kate's life has been seriously sad lately. But whose fault is that exactly? If Kate had focused on simply being a good mom, she probably wouldn't be in such a terrible situation right now.
right now. But because she cared more about being famous and making money than the well-being of her own kids, she continued to exploit them for years. In a 2019 interview on the Dr. Oz show, John accused Kay of making their kids film even when they didn't want to. He said that all of the children had mentioned at least once that they felt like Kate had forced them to provide for themselves and her by appearing on TV. But what happened a month after the interview was honestly insane. That December, Kate was found in contempt of court for breaking rules that were set by the judge. Apparently, the judge who had worked on Kate and John's custody case didn't think that it was in the best interest of the children to film, but Kate had broken the guidelines he put in place to protect the kids in a shocking way. Kate reportedly failed to give John a copy of the children's filming schedule, which was supposed to be approved by both parents, but that wasn't all. She also hadn't gotten the proper filming permits for the six tuplets who were minors at the time, which were necessary for them to make money for their appearances. Because Kate had violated the legal court order, she had to pay $1,500 to John in fees. If she had broken the judge's rules a second time, she could have actually ended up behind bars, but she wasn't even given that chance to go against the order again. TLC fired Kate for the violation she made against her in John's court order regarding their children. Whether or not she intended to keep the money the kids had earned for the appearances, she obviously wasn't looking out for their best interests. And in the end, her money-hungry ways cost her the only career she wanted. Kate's latest court battle with John in an attempt to get more money from him is also bizarre considering she's done everything she can to slam him in the media. She's tried to destroy his reputation in the spotlight along with turning his own kids against him, but now she supposedly can't afford her lifestyle without his financial help. It'll be interesting to see what happens with Kate and John's recent court case considering their drama throughout the years. If he really does owe her money, I'm sure the judge will see that. But if what John and his family have said is true, what Kate is asking for is beyond the amount he was ever required to pay. Of course, Kate could always consider selling her luxurious home and downsizing to a more affordable place. She is currently living in a lakefront house that she somehow purchased for $750,000. It has four bedrooms, five bathrooms, a pool, hot tub, and other extravagant amenities. Since Kate is living by herself now and is reportedly refusing to get a job, how exactly does she expect to keep staying in such a high-priced house? We'll have to wait and see how this all plays out for her. But as of right now, it's definitely not looking good. Kate used to be pretty successful in terms of reality TV fame, but that clearly went to her head. Now she's alone and nearly broke, but she did this to herself by being greedy and prioritizing money over her children for years. It almost seems like this is her karma for exploiting her kids and going so hard against their father in the public eye. But now that we've gotten into how drastically Kate's life has changed and how it's really nobody's fault but her own, I wanna know what you guys think. What are your thoughts on Kate allegedly refusing to work while battling John in court for thousands of dollars? And what do you think about how everyone who was once close to her has left and how desperate she supposedly is for money now? Let me know in the comments below.